Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Life Imbalances Lower Attraction. Well, I talk about this quite a bit in my video newsletters, I talk about it in my book, and also in countless articles that I've done over the years on my website. And that's the importance of having a balanced life if you're a man, meaning you got your life's mission or your life's work figured out, what your purpose is, you're taking care of your body, you're focusing on taking care of you first. And guys who have a life that's out of balance, especially if they're, maybe they got financial stress or they're not really happy in what they do for a living, it's going to have a negative impact on their dating life. And this particular guy, he says he's pretty good with women, meeting them and dating them usually sleeps with them on the first or second date but the problem is they don't stick around for very long after that and he says he finds that he tends to sabotage his own success so he asked my opinion on it and so I got a quote that I wrote and then we're going to go through his email and see what he's doing and what he can do differently to stop sabotaging things so they last a little bit longer. So the quote says, men tend to withdraw, stay single and or avoid relationships or commitments when they are having personal, financial, health, career or business problems and imbalances. In order for a man to feel comfortable in a relationship, open to having one and allowing a woman into his heart, he must feel like his life is in order, balanced, financially secure and like he is succeeding in accomplishing his life's mission and purpose. When a man feels like a failure or that success is a moving or elusive target, he may avoid dating, relationships, or any interactions with women that can lead to sex or romance. When men take care of their life, work, health, finances, and areas of their lives that are important to them, their relationships tend to become more stable, loving, balanced, long-term, and fulfilling. Sometimes it's better to get your life in order and have more short-term relationships while you do this and have longer-term relationships once your life is in order and balanced. It's healthy and essential to get to know and enjoy yourself when you are not defined by another person. That's part of what I, I see in this guy's email here is that his life's really not conducive to long-term relationships. And so he starts dating women and initially he's thinking long-term relationship and then after he's together with them a short period of time, his life is in such turmoil he's not happy with it. It has a negative impact on his life because as a man, if your life is not in order, if you don't feel like you're doing well financially or you don't know whether the job that you're working at is – you're going to have that job in a matter of months and you're worried about ends meeting, in those kinds of situations, it's really just better to have more casual, more – short-term type relationships, hooking up, having friends with benefits, that kind of thing and avoiding being in a long-term relationship because really you got to get you got to get to a place where you're happy with you first and that's really what you can see is going on in this guy's life is that because his life has so many areas that are imbalanced and out of whack, he's not able to maintain his success with women longer than for a few dates or a few weeks in most cases. So he says, hi, Corey. In terms of relationships, mine are all quite short. Sex happens usually on the first date or the second and the honeymoon period. I have no problems in the bedroom. My mood is strange. Sometimes I am very charismatic and I do everything right outside of the bedroom. Well, when you're feeling good and you're happy and you're content, maybe like especially initially you date a girl and you really like her and you're really into her, you're happy about that. Like I've t- discussed countless times in the past, one, some a new person in your life, a new woman in your life will make you happy for a short period of time and then when you realize that even though she's great and she's awesome, you realize that she's not the source of your happiness and that even though she's great and awesome and a great positive influence in your life, the fact that you're not happy about yourself or your career or your purpose or your mission in life, that's going to weigh on you and that's going to – it's going to be really difficult for you to continue making the kind of effort you were initially when you first started dating her. Especially if she gets to know you, if you have the tendency to start complaining about things or 
not doing things that you know you should be doing as far as your career or your purpose in life. And a lot of guys that are good out of the gate, what typically happens is they treat women that they really like differently. And they start giving their power away and letting women walk all over them and treat them like a doorman. And it's something that's subtle and it happens over time. It's not something that's an instantaneous thing. And so a lot of guys, when they finally get rejected, they're thinking, what's the deal? This girl was totally into me in the beginning. And now she doesn't want anything to do with it. She won't return my calls. What the hell? So again, if you're feeling good, it's easy to be smiling and feeling good. But if there's so many things in your life that you're just not happy about, the more time you spend with somebody and you're not happy about your life in general, you can't help but that slip out. They're going to see it. It's going to be in your facial expression. In other words, you can only maintain an act for so long. That's why you know, in this kind of situation, it behooves you to take care of your life first. And really focus on dating just like I talk about. Hang out, have fun and hook up and forget about the dating and the relationship stuff. Just focus on being a great dater, having a good time. And if a girl starts to get a little attached and wants to get serious, you got to say, look, my life's in chaos right now and I'm not looking for anything serious. And I'll understand if that doesn't work for you. But really all I can do is just that I can offer you at this time is just a casual type of relationship without any kind of commitment. If you find a better guy for you, I want you to be happy. Go be with that guy. But if you're cool with that, then let's just continue dating and we'll see where it goes. But again, I don't want you having any false pretenses that I'm looking for a relationship or looking to get into something exclusive right now because I just can't. My life's just in chaos. I don't feel comfortable with that. But I really do like you and I really like hanging out with you. I like making love to you. It's a lot of fun. You're a great gal. You're fun to be around. Hopefully... You'll be cool with what I can offer you at this point. But I'll understand if you can't. And if, if the woman decides to leave, you've got to say, hey, give me a call if you, if you change your mind because you, I think you're really spectacular. But again, this is – you know, I hope you understand this is where I'm at. It's all I can do at this point. He says, sometimes I feel boring, lost or unable to make a girl laugh or feel like she's having a good time. If you're not happy – if you're not enjoying your life, if you're not excited about your life, the woman's going to see that. And you know that's why sometimes when you're feeling good, you're great. You're totally in the moment. And you're just enjoying your time with her. And then there's other times if you've got these overwhelming things, if you've got financial stress that you're worried about or whatever it happens to be and life feels hopeless and feels like it's literally going to be years before you can get to where you really want to be, that, that's going to have a negative impact on you. It's going to have a negative impact on how you feel. You feel like you have to perform, like you have to be there. You have to be a certain type of guy. And the reality is you can only do what you can do. And once you accept it where you're at and you live in the moment and you just focus on hanging out, having fun and hooking up and not worrying about the future, everything else will take care of itself. He says other times it's just all in my head and she's having a good time. Again, having a job or a career or a business or business partners that are nurturing and supportive of you and who you are and you have a good relationship with each other. That's going to have a major impact on your ability to feel stable. If you've got a new business and it's very unstable, your relationships should reflect that as well. It shouldn't be long-term stable type of relationships. If you Because if you don't feel like you have enough safety, security, money for yourself – Having a girlfriend, is you're going to be worried about it. This is going to drain my finances. I can't afford to spend this much money. Or I can't afford to spend this much time. So it's important to recognize where you are in your life. Are you in a stable place where your life and lifestyle and your finances are conducive to a long-term relationship? Great. And if they're not, you need to be a little bit more realistic about where you're at and date accordingly and tell the people that you date. Now, some women are going to be cool with it. And some women aren't. But if you've got women in your life that are cool with where your life is at and they're cool with just a kind of casual, unattached way of showing up, things will be a hell of a lot easier for you. Don't try to be something that you're not. Don't try to offer something that you can't or that's going to make you feel like you got to, you're pressured into doing it. I think the root of the problem lies with my personal life. It's a struggle. Work is tough. Money is tough. And all that weighs on me when I go out on a date. 
Yeah, it's hard to be in the present moment and focus on hanging out, having fun, and hooking up when you're worried about whether or not when the waitress brings a check back, is my card going to go through or is it going to get declined and I'm going to be embarrassed? Have money, have cash with you if you're – if you ha- if your money's that tight, you got to think about those things. Especially inviting girls to come over and hang out, and have fun, and hook up at your place where you cook, you grill out, maybe you hang out by your pool. If, if you, you know if you're you're in a place where it's warm, not maybe you have a pool table inside, or you've got things that you can do inside together. Making dinner to get together is a great romantic thing where you just really just sitting there and asking questions and getting her to talk. You don't have to spend a lot of money doing those things. And if you have several women that you're dating that are like a friends with benefits kind of relationship, you're not going out on extravagant, expensive dates. You might meet them out for coffee the first time or you might meet them out for drinks for the first time. And then the second or third date, you're hooking up. Then you just invite them to come over to your house and hang out and make an evening of it and be fun and, and do things like have massage oil around and give her a massage after you guys make love. Mix it up a little bit. Don't just have her come over and watch a movie and fuck and order some pizza and have some beer every single time. I mean use your brain a little bit. Be a little creative. Maybe get a twister game and, and, and do like strip twister or something like that. Just something to be fun that you can do together. Something that's different that doesn't cost a lot of money especially if money's tight for you. Again, hang out, have fun, hook up. I mean everybody, men and women, we want to escape from our lives. When we're with somebody that we love and we care about, we want to think about the bills or the work that we have to do. We want to focus on living in the moment and just enjoying each other. I'm trying to be thrifty, trying to act like money isn't a problem and all the while it really is. Well, maybe you should get a roommate or maybe you should change the place that you're living or maybe you rent a little bit bigger house and then you sublease some of the rooms I mean you got to – or you downsize. You get a, you get an efficiency. Get something that's really cheap that you can decorate and that will look kind of cool and it's simple. You know, Most places that are downtown have relatively inexpensive one-bedroom or efficiency or studio type of apartments if you've got a lot of expenses. Getting a part-time job, maybe something that you work on weekends or in the evenings. I mean Uber is a great way. I mean most – and that's another way if you need a little bit of extra money for dating, I mean you, in your spare time you can drive drive an Uber car. I mean, there's so many things you can do with the on-demand economy these days. Figure it out. If you need more cash, either – two things got to happen. You either got to decrease your expenses or increase your revenue. Ideally, you, you want to be doing both. And if you can't decrease your expenses, you're going to have to work a part-time job. You're going to have to figure it out. Or read some of the art, Google Corey Wayne, how to get any job you want and get a better quality job with better conditions and better people that you can work with and that pays more. I mean figure it out. He says, I'm working on other projects but they might not be as lucrative. Well, at least you're looking around. Always be trying – if you're a man or a woman, always be trying to expand. I mean the bottom line is you can never stop growing, never stop evolving. There's always another level to get to. As far as your career and your mission and purpose in life, you always want to be coming better. You always want to be growing your skill set and becoming more – because the more your skill set grows and the more competent and proficient you become at your job, the more – or your career or your business, the more – your compensation earning potential is going to increase as well. It's all about adding value. How do you add value as an employee working for somebody else or as an entrepreneur working for yourself? You're either adding value through a product or adding value through a service. The more valuable you become, like Ralph Waldo Emerson says, make yourself necessary to somebody. I mean, the bottom line is the more you're going to make more money. The more money you have, money gives you choices, gives you peace of mind. My main question seems to be how do I just relax and have a good time out in public with a girl I like? You got to have to be in the moment because the moment you get in your head, that's when you give off a weird, awkward type of vibe. And the bottom line is when you're on a date with a girl, you can't be thinking about whether or not you're going to be able to pay your bills or not or you know, if you're not getting along with your boss, am I still going to be working there next week? You can't be thinking about those things. You got to focus on hanging out, having fun, and hooking up with her. Hanging out with somebody who, and ask them the kind of questions that they would enjoy answering. Be fascinated by by being with them and what you can get to know 
about them. Be very inquisitive and curious about them. That creates rapport. That's what you need to focus on because the other things you really – when you're on a date, you can't do anything about your job or your career when you're on a date. The only thing you really have control over is how you show up. If you want to have fun and you want to be a good dater, focus on hanging out and having fun and hooking up. And that will get you in the present moment. That's where you need to be. That will get you in the right headspace so you can be present with a woman and be giving off a warm and charming vibe instead of one that's weird and creepy and, and when she looks at you and it's like she can tell that you're thinking about things to say. You shouldn't be thinking about things to say. You should be asking questions and getting to know her and being fascinated by her. Completely different approach to things in life. But if I were you, again, I would focus – more on short-term type of unattached type of relationships until you can either move to some places cheaper, get a part-time job. I mean, figure it out. Find a way, not a way out. And it, as long as you feel like you're making progress in your life, you're going to feel more successful. And something as simple as a part-time job or reducing your expenses or increasing your revenue, that's going to make you feel more comfortable, more peaceful, more relaxed, more certain about your future which will make it easier for you to be – to present your best self and be happier and to smile more which obviously makes you more attractive. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype or email coaching session. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you and I will talk to you soon.